با درود مجدد خدمت شما دوستان عزیز دانشجویان محترم مستر تیچر محمد مهروی هستم مدرس این دوره و با سومین قسمت از درس چهار در خدمتتون هستم Unit 4 Lesson C If you ask me As you see according to this topic If you ask me We're going to talk about how to give opinions and how to ask people to give their opinions Right? Let's first check the statements you agree with So I started like this. Do you agree that people spend too much time at work? Do you agree that people spend too much time at work? If yes, you say, yes, I do. I agree that people spend too much time at work or I do not agree. So I think people do not spend too much time at work. Next one. Do you agree that everybody's getting burned out? Burned or burnt out. Getting burned out means when you work a lot, when you don't, I mean, uh, when you get tired after working a lot, so you are getting burned out. Do you agree that life is much simpler now than it used to be? Remember, we talked about used to be something that happened in the past and you don't do it anymore. I mean, something that you did in the past, uh, but you don't do it anymore. So, life is much simpler now than it used to be. It means it was simple in the past, but it is not that simple, right? Do you agree? Yes or no? And do people... Uh, do you sorry do you uh, do you agree that people don't have enough time to relax do you agree that people don't have enough time to relax now let's uh let's see Corey and rob what they think about this which of the statements above do Corey and rob agree with Do they agree that people spend too much time, everybody's getting burned out, life is much simpler in the past than it used to be, and people don't have enough time? Okay, let's listen and get back to see uh, which of the statements above do they agree with. Page 38. Lesson C. If you ask me, 1. Conversation strategy, giving opinions. B. Listen. Which of the statements above do Corey and Rob agree with? So, how are you and Charles doing? And the kids? Good, thanks. Just way too busy. I don't think we get enough time together. I guess it's the same for everybody. Oh, definitely. If you ask me, we all work too much these days. Absolutely. With all the long hours and running the kids around. Oh, I know. And my wife often brings work home on the weekends, too. Whatever happened to time off? Yeah, it seems like we don't get enough time to relax. Oh, that's for sure. And it seems to me that's why people often get burned out. <laughs> exactly. All right, uh, so which of the statements above do Corey and Rob agree with? So the first one, they agreed that people spend too much time at work. First one, they agreed. And also they agreed that everybody's getting burned out. This one. And the last one that they agreed with, uh, agreed with is um, people don't have enough time to relax, right? Okay. Now let's see uh, how Rob and Corey use expressions to give opinions. We have uh, five expressions here, like I think, I don't think, it seems to me that, it seems like, and if you ask me. These expressions are used to give opinions, right? The first one uh, is like, mm, I don't think here, okay? So, how are you and Charles doing in the kids? Good, thanks. 
just way too busy. I don't think we get enough time together. I guess it's the same for everybody. Okay. Oh, definitely. If you ask me, we all work too much these days. Absolutely. With all the long hours and running the kids around. Okay, I know. And my wife often brings work home on the weekends too. Whatever happened to time off? Yeah, it seems like we don't get enough time to relax. Oh, that's for sure. And it seems to me, right? It seems to me that's why people often get, get burnt out. Okay, guys, see, I don't think we, we get enough time together. If you ask me, we all work too much these days. It seems like we don't get enough time to relax. Or it seems to me that it, it seems to me that's why people often get burnt out. See, you can use these expressions to give your opinion wherever you're talking to somebody or wherever you're in discussion, okay? So you can use these expressions to give your opinions. And again, I suggest uh, doing like shadowing, as I told you before, with this conversation because it'll help you to put these, you know, expressions in the, in the right order, I mean, in the right place. So you can give your opinion like a pro, like a professional. Okay, let's go to complete these sentences with expressions from above to give your opinions, right? Then compare with a partner. Okay, uh, you don't need to use, I mean, the exact ones, everybody. So you can use different ones according to what you like. Uh, let me do number one. For example, number one. It says people work longer hours than they used to, right? I can say that I think, I think people work longer hours than they used to. Or it seems like people work longer hours than they used to. Or also you can say, I don't think people work longer hours than they used to, okay? You can use each of them. It doesn't matter which one. You can use all of them to give your opinions. For example, number two, people don't spend enough time with their families. I can say, if you ask me, if you ask me, people don't spend enough time with their families. You can do number three, four, five, and six with the same rule. Okay, You, you need just to put one of these five five expressions in the blanks. Let's go to strategy plus agreeing. How to agree with uh, an opinion or with what people say. You can use these expressions to agree with people's opinion like absolutely, definitely, exactly. You're right. That's true. That's for sure. Or you can say exactly, that's for sure, or definitely, that's true. Or absolutely, you're right. You can mix two of them, or you can just put one. I agree or I agree with you, oh yeah, or yeah. Actually, I have to say, oh yeah. Oh, I know, or just I know. Look, if you ask me, we all work too much these days. Absolutely. Or you can say, absolutely, you're right. You can use both of them, or two of them, I mean. And uh, just keep it in mind that exactly, definitely, and absolutely are in the top 600 words. These three are really famous, really well-known, I mean, really popular. Now let's listen to uh, the start of five conversations and number the responses one to five. You're going to listen to a conversation, and you have to find the responses from one to five which one is the first which one is the second which one is the third one which one is the fourth one and which one is the fifth one first let's do it please page 39 2 strategy plus agreeing a 
Listen to the start of five conversations. Number the responses one to five. One. It's really bad for kids when they come home from school to an empty house. Remember when one parent used to stay at home with the kids? Nowadays, both parents are at work. Two. A lot of families don't have meals together anymore. That's not a good thing. Whatever happened to family dinners? Three. You know, there's a lot of pressure on kids to get good grades so they can get into college. They have to study all the time. It's just not healthy. Four. It's nice when grandparents can take care of the kids, like when parents are busy. I mean, it's better than having a babysitter stay with them. Five. My son is still in high school, and he wants to get a part-time job. But you know, I'm not sure it's a good idea. I mean, he's already so busy with school and everything. All right. So, which uh, which response is number one? Very good. Number one. Number E. Part E is number one. I mean, that's true. But a lot of families need two incomes. These days, incomes means the money you receive for working. And uh, which one was the second one, or which one is the second one? It's B. Exactly. Some kids never want to sit down and eat with their families. And number four, number three, sorry, what happened to me? Number three, C. Oh, I agree. I mean, a lot of kids stay up all night studying for exams. Number four, it's A, very good. Definitely, my kids love to spend time with my mother. They say she's more fun than me. And uh, the last one, which is five, is part D. Oh, I know, but working a few hours a week can be a good experience for teenagers. Now you can uh, listen again, if you want, you can listen again and say your opinion. Do you agree with the opinions? You can play it again, I mean play uh, the listening again and so say your opinions or give your opinions. Let's go to strategy in my opinion. Choose the best responses to complete the conversations, then practice. Look, we have four, uh, I mean, we have A, B, C, D, four kind of like responses here, and you have to put them in number one, number two, three, or four. So A says, I've heard that one in three marriages ends in divorce. I think it's terrible for kids or for the kids. If you ask me, it's better to travel lots of different friends. At, uh, if you ask me, it's better to have lots of friends, uh, lots of different friends at that age. See, I mean, it takes a long time to plan a wedding. D, it seems to me that it's better to wait until you're a little older. Now we can pause the video and uh, so do the strategy, try to fit in A, B, C, D and number one, two, three and four. Okay, so I imagine that you, you've done it and you're, so you're here. It seems like people are getting married much later these days. Yeah, that's true. The response is, very good. Uh, it seems to me that it's uh, until they... Okay, this is D. It seems to me that it's better to wait until you're a little older, definitely. That way you have time to grow up and find a rewarding job. Number two. I don't think it's good for high school kids to have serious boyfriend or girlfriend. 
I agree. It's B. If you ask me, it's better to have lots of different friends at, at that age. Three. It seems to me that long engagements are a good idea. You're right. It's C. I mean, it takes a long time to plan a wedding. Absolutely. And couples need time to decide where to live and everything. Four, I think it's sad that so many people get divorced these days. I know. A, I've heard that, I've heard that one in three marriages ends in divorce. I think it's, a ter it's terrible for the kids. That's for sure. A lot of kids have a hard time when parents get divorced. Very good. This is the end of uh, this lesson. I will see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.